Hello guys, in my previous video we have learned about Excel filter basics for quick data analysis as well as we also learned about how to enable and disable filters by using the short key Control shift l In my today's video, we will learn about filter advanced technique. Before I start my video, kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get my all future videos notification. There is one disadvantage to using the basic filter is that when we selected any items through this filter, we don't know which items or already selected until we move our mouse cursor over the filters for example here we select anything any items apples bananas and bread click ok and here we will select per unit price 50 or 60 then click ok when we move our mouse cursor over the filter then we will know that the apples bananas and breads are selected in this filter and in per unit price 50 and 60 we selected but for the more control or more advanced control we have to use advanced filter options so if you want to use advanced data filter then you have to go in data section here then you will see that advanced option next to the filter you will click on that a small dialog box will appear in front of you in the first option filter the list in place you will select this option and if you want to copy your filter data in any other location you will go to the second option then the list range here you will select your data after that you will give the criteria range and then click ok for example if i want to filter apple in item list then i will write it here my criteria items and i will write apples then i will go back advanced then i will go to the criteria range and i will select this criteria criteria and click ok when i click ok you will see that excel filtered the apples in the table so now if i want to select the more than one items in item list then what i will do i will write it here the second criteria for example i want to also select oranges i will write it here oranges then i will go back advance and i will reselect my criteria here and then i will click ok and i click ok then you will see that excel filter apple and oranges only in advanced filter you can also use and or conditions for example in this table many items has same price for oranges 20 per unit uh, as well pies and store and lemons has same per unit price so here I want to use and condition I want it here Excel filter lemons and 20 per unit price so what I will do I will write it here items and I will write it here lemons and next to items I will write per unit price and I will write it here 20 then I will go to the advance and in criteria range I will select my criteria here and I will click ok when I will click ok you will see that Excel only filter lemons and 20 per unit price now here I want Excel filter all items other than lemons but who have 20 per unit price so what I will do I will simply put it less than and greater than sign before lemons then I will go back advance option and reselect my criteria area and click ok you will see that excel filter all items other than lemons but the price unit is 20 now i want it uh, excel filter lemons with the price unit uh, price per unit 20 and 60 so what i will do i will remove this uh, sign greater and less than then i will write it lemon again and here i will put it 60 then i will go back advance and reselect my criteria and click ok you will see that excel filter lemons but the both price Price units 20 and 60 now there is another criteria for example I want it Excel filter the sales uh, more than 10,000 so what I will do I will remove this previous criteria and I will write it here greater than 10,000 and I will go back advanced and reselect my criteria here and then click ok uh, you will see that uh, when I click ok uh, Excel show the all sales more than 10,000 so now I will put it another criteria sales and I will put my criteria Excel show me the sales greater than 10,000 but less than 50,000 so I will write it here less than 50,000 and I will go to the advanced and reselect my criteria here and I will click ok uh, you will see that now Excel show me the sales more than 10,000 but less than 50,000 now I want to add another criteria I want Excel show me the sales more than 10,000 and less than 50,000 but with the price unit 20 so i will write it here 20 and i will go back to advanced and click ok uh, you will see that excel show me the 
sales more than 10,000 and less than 50,000 but the price unit is 20. Now I will add another criteria here in items. I want Excel show me the only watches and I will go to the advanced and click OK. You will see that Excel show me the items watches unit price 20 and sales more than 10,000 and less than 50,000. Now finally I want it Excel copy the unique data from my uh, per unit price column. So what I will do that I will go to the advanced option and then I will select the list range. I only need the per unit price column only so I will select this one. So in criteria range in this case I don't need this so I will select here unique records only and then I want to copy in any other location so I will select this option and I want it copied to for example here h7 and then i will click ok when i will click ok you will see that excel copy the unique values uh, which is exist in per unit price uh, column hopefully guys you like my video so don't forget to comment thank you so much